We're now going to look at a couple single node pair circuit examples. So we are asked to find the current through the resistor IR1 right here. And we're going to follow the, the uh, steps outlined here. We're first going to label the reference node. I'm going to choose to use this lower node as the reference node. And then let's label all of the, uh, well, let's label the other node first. So that'll be our voltage V. And then we'll label all of the branch currents, which are not already labeled. Again, this can be skipped once you're comfortable with the technique. So I've got a current IR2. And, and that's it in this case. So next, we want to write a KCL equation. And we're going to write that at our node V. And I'm going to sum currents leaving. So we have two amps leaving through the left source. We have IR1 leaving. We have IR2 leaving. And we have minus 0.5 amps leaving. That all sums to zero. We now need to express uh, our currents through R1 and R2 in terms of the voltage across them. And so we're going to use Ohm's law, the VI terminal relationship for those elements, and write that IR1 is V over 200 ohms for R1, and IR2 is V over 100 ohms. We now we write our equation where we have 2 amps plus 1 over 200 plus 1 over 100 times V minus 0.5 amps. And here we have that single equation, single unknown, and we solve for V. V is equal to 0.5 amps minus 2 amps, all of that divided by 1 over 200 plus 1 over 100. And after you do the math, we find that V is equal to minus 100 volts. We now are ready to solve for our current. Let's go back and look at what we've actually uh, figured out. We figured out that the voltage is 100 volts here. And so now we're asking initially for IR1, and we can solve that now by just um, writing 100 volts divided by 200 ohms. which is minus 0.5 amps. Let's look at one more example. Here we're asked to find V and the power supplied by the independent current source. So this guy right here, the 24 milliamp source. So again, first we're going to add a reference, the ground. Then we'll label the the other node with our voltage V. That's what we're going to solve for. And then we write a KCL equation at node, at node V, or node 1. I labeled it as node 1. So we're going to sum currents leaving. So I have I6 that's leaving. I have minus, um, this is a controlled current source. I should have mentioned that. That's uh, something new in this circuit. And this current source actually has a current that's entering the node that's equal to 2 times Ix. So we're summing currents leaving, so we'll put the minus sign here, minus 2 times Ix. Then we have 24 milliamps entering, or minus 24 milliamps leaving, and then we have minus Ix leaving. We now replace I6 with um, an expression using Ohm's law such that we can express the current in terms of the voltage. So we have V over 6 kilo ohms. And then for Ix, we're going to substitute, let's see what Ix is. Ix is the current that's flowing through this 2 ohm resistor. And it is equal to, actually the current going this way is just equal to V over 2 kilo ohms. But because Ix is pointing the opposite direction, we have to say that Ix is minus V over 2 kilo ohms. Then we have our minus 24 milliamps. And here again, we put in Ix uh, 
minus V over 2 kilo ohms. All of that is equal to zero. And we do the math on that. And it results in a voltage of 14.4 volts. Lastly, we were asked to find the uh, power supplied by the independent current source, this uh, 24 milliamp source right here. And we find that there is 24 milliamps supplied, and there's a voltage across it of this polarity that's equal to 14.4 volts. And so the power supplied by it, okay, active sign convention in this case, is equal to supplied by, okay, by source is equal to 24 milliamps times the 14.4 volts, which is the 346 milliwatts. Final note here on um, just general on circuits is that uh, sometimes, especially in textbooks, you might be fooled on the complexity of a circuit. This circuit here looks like it has many more than two nodes, but in fact if you look at it for very long you'll realize that it's just a two-node circuit. It's equivalent to this one here.